Hi everyone, I'm Coral. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with a video of which you have probably seen similar videos on your feed lately because this is um, a hot topic at the beginning of the year. I'm going to be telling you some books that I think are going to be killer. These are books that I want to pre-order in 2022. Horror, horror adjacent books. This is just going to be bo books that are going to be released in the first half of the year though, so January through June, and then I'm hoping, I can't say for sure because, you know, sometimes my brain changes, but I'm hoping to do, you know, the second half of the year in July then. But there's just so, I just, this year is going to be so good for horror. I'm so excited. I can't wait to tell you about these. One I've already read and I'd like to tell you about it, of course. Um, so these are books, you know, that are going to be coming out this year. So the first one is actually a book that came out just yesterday as I'm filming this, or two days ago now. Yeah, this is Such a Pretty Smile by Christy Demeester. I'm just going to give you guys a quick little rundown of what this is about. I'm not going to read the full synopsis for any of these because they're just, there's just no time. So, um, this is about a mother and a daughter. I believe this takes place in two timelines, but it seems like the mother and the daughter are maybe dealing with uh, similar things, but at different times. And there's also this like maniac killing people, killing, well, specifically young girls and girls who uh, maybe don't follow the rules and girls who are seen as kind of like ne'er-do-wells. And that's all I know about this. Um, this is one of my absolutely most anticipated books. So I've never read like her writing in a full novel, but I've really loved her short stories. They are so like lyrical and her writing's very beautiful. So I'm very excited about Such a Pretty Smile. Next is Road of Bones by Christopher Golden. This comes out January 25th. And this seems like it's going to be similar to his Era Rat books. Um, I think it's called the Ben Walker series where it's like horror with an archeological thing going on. This takes place in Siberia. The Road of Bones is a road in Siberia. Um, miles, miles long road, 1200 miles, holy shit, through Siberia. So there's this documentary crew and angry ghosts. And honestly, what more could you ask for? Next, I'd love to tell you about The Violence by Delilah S. Dawson. This one comes out February 1st. This is about a woman named Chelsea and she has a family, she's a housewife, and she uh, has kind of a rough family history where her mother is narcissistic and really uh, worried about keeping up the appearances of her family, which includes Chelsea and her family. Um, but that's kind of a problem for Chelsea because Chelsea is in an abusive relationship. Her husband is abusive and this plague hits causing people to become violent and murder and hurt people. And she sees this as an opportunity to get out of her terrible marriage. Next on my list is Dead Silence by S.A. Barnes. Oh my gosh, I've been so looking forward to this one. This comes out February 8th and this is about a woman named Claire and she works on a repair crew it looks like and they pick up a distress signal from a ship orbiting earth and there they find a luxury space liner so like big titanic vibes and this liner vanished years ago but Claire and her crew have to check it out and of course um things go wrong because that's the kind of books that I read. I love it when things go wrong. Next is This Might Hurt by Stephanie Robel. I read her debut Darling Rose Gold and really loved this and this seems like it's going to be like another darker thriller. This is about um, two sisters and it says one trapped in the clutches of a cult and the other in a web of her own lies. So uh, two sisters Natalie and Kit. Kit gets involved with this cult where they um, I don't know, it seems like a soft cult, like somewhere where you don't really see that you're getting into a cult until you're already way far in. And um, it's, she's at this like retreat that they do where you have to commit to six months of time doing that. And she's there, she has no contact with the outside world. 
Um, this place is called Wise Wood, but then Wise Wood starts sending threatening emails to the sister not in the cult, Nicole, uh, threatening to reveal this huge secret that N Nicole has and that she's been keeping from her sister Kit. And Nicole tries to get a hold of Kit to kind of come clean before this um, comes out in the open and she's unable to contact Kit. I love, I love cult stuff. And I like Darling Rose Gold and the cover for this is just so fun. I would be so sad if this were my plate <laughs> and I just want to read this, you know? That comes out February 22nd. Next is Manhunt by Gretchen Filker Martin, which also comes out February 22nd. I've read this and I really enjoyed this. I will have a review closer to the release date of this. Um, so I think you should definitely watch that when it comes out. But this is like post-apocalyptic, weird body horror, lots of gore, uh, some really complex queer characters, uh, conflict between different factions of like the humans that are left after this crazy plague. Uh, so this is like, oh my gosh, it's just, it's really complex and it's hard to give a good synopsis. But basically anyone with enough testosterone turns into like this beastly creature. So it could be um, trans women. It could be men who are assigned male at birth. It could be uh, AFAB people who have too much testosterone. Anyone with too much testosterone will eventually turn into this beast unless they have like a steady supply of estrogen um, to help keep them safe. And you know, it's just not, it's not quite as easy as it sounds, especially in a post-apocalyptic world. And man, it's just, it's a great, 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 great book. And I get more, a little more in depth um, in my review. So keep an eye out for that. Next is Sundial by Katriana Ward. This comes out March 1st. And this is about a woman named Rob, an interesting choice for a name because Rob to me is like a dad, a dad name. Um, not even like a boy name, like a dad. They just come out with like a beard and a beer gut. Um, but this woman's name is Rob and she has moved away from this town that she grew up in called Sundial, which is in the Mojave Desert and something prompts Rob to bring her family back to Sundial. And I don't know, a dark desert journey into the past. So yeah, I mean, it seems like it's going to be one of those stories with uh, really interesting family dynamics. It says twisty psychological horror. She wrote The Last House on Needless Street, which was um, such a really interesting work. And so I'm excited to see what she brings us next. Next. I'd love to tell you about Below by Laurel Hightower. This comes out March 29th and like this is about the fucking Mothman and that's all I know and that's all I need to know and there should be more Mothman fiction. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's out there, but more accessible Mothman fiction, not nonfiction, but also I like Mothman nonfiction, but more Mothman fiction. Next is The Fervor by Alma Katsu, and this comes out April 26th. This takes place during World War II, and we're following a uh, woman and her daughter who are put in a Japanese, well, an American, a Japanese-American internment camp. So they're Japanese. I mean, we know that this happened, right? We know about this, right? I don't have to explain it more, do I? I mean, we put Japanese-Americans Japanese people who lived in America, we put them in prison camps during World War II because we were so just very intimidated by them. Then this disease sweeps in, which, you know, is really an element that I love in a horror story. And this disease is making people violent. Um, also, this says stuff about like yokai and demons and contagion. And it just sounds like so much fun. So much horrific fun. It seems like it's going to be a hard hitter too, you know? I mean, uh, dealing with prison camps is, it, it just never makes anyone feel good, you know? Next is Book of Night by Holly Black. This comes out May 3rd, and this is more of like a uh, dark fantasy. And in this world, people can alter their shadows, but they can, they can do it to benefit themselves, and they can also do it uh, 
to sort of the detriment of other people. Like they can, you can alter someone else's shadow to manipulate them, which sounds very interesting. Uh, the main character here is a con man. I don't know much else. I don't know things about shadow thieves and doppelgangers and I don't know. I mean, I liked Holly Black's uh, Cruel Print series. That was definitely more like YA romance fantasy. So I'm looking forward to this. That might have more of an adult dark thing going on. I mean, Cruel Prince wasn't like super young YA, but uh, it was definitely YA. And so I'm excited to see what happens with this. Next is Black Tide by Casey Jones, and this is coming out on May 10th. This is about um, two very different people who have a one night stand. And when they wake up, they discover that there has been this uh, intense meteor storm and it brings unspeakable horrors. So yeah, I wanna read that. Next here we have Hide by Kirsten White. And this comes out May 24th. And this is like, oh boy, this just sounds really fun. It is a high stakes hide and seek competition. And it takes place at a, an amusement park. So it's like already fantastic setting. I love like deadly competitions. And like Holly Black, I've read one of Kirsten White's series before that was a little more YA than it was adult, I feel like. Uh, but I really, really loved it. It was called And I Darken. It was called The Conqueror's Saga, I think, like the series. And this is like her first labeled adult book. So I'm very excited about this. All right, last on this video, this comes out June 24th. This is We Can Never Leave This Place by Eric LaRocca. This says this is a grotesque and thrilling dark fantasy. What more can I ask for? Okay, I know I said that I wasn't going to read any synopsises, but this one's so short and um, I feel like it, it uh, says it well, you know what I mean? This says, a precocious young girl with an unusual imagination is sent on an odyssey into the depths of depravity. After her father dies violently, young Mara is surprised to find her mother welcoming a new guest into their home, claiming that he will protect them from the world of devastation and destruction outside their door. I'm just, I'm going to read anything Eric LaRocca writes. <sighs> this is a person who has such a way with words and I don't feel like that's necessary for me when I'm reading a book. I mean, the writing has to be good, but they've just got this uh, flourish to their writing that is really appealing to me. And it's kind of like Christy Demeester, almost lyrical. And I feel like he's one of those writers where if I was blindfolded, wait, no, uh, if I wasn't allowed to see the name of, the, if I'm just given an excerpt of their writing is I guess what I'm saying. I would probably be able to tell that it was Eric LaRocca's, you know what I mean? He's just got such a clear voice and such a way with words and you just know that it's him when he's writing. So those are some books that I'm definitely pre-ordering this year, uh, in the first half of the year at least. There is just so many good books coming out. And I mean, this is just the beginning of the year. We don't know everything that's coming out yet. This is just January. There are so many books on the horizon that we don't even know about yet. And that really tickles my nethers, if you know what I mean. Uh, so <laughs> I'm so excited for what's to come. This is going to be a great year for horror. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be such a good year. Those are some books that I'm pre-ordering in the first half of the year. Let me know if there are any others that sound really interesting to you because obviously like <laughs> I want to know. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later. Goodbye.